In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into your new Scratch accounts and access the tutorials that I want you to work on today. In Google Classroom, there's a link to Scratch. When you click on it, you'll land on this page. Then you're going to go up to sign in so you can enter your username and your password. Your Scratch username is located on your login card. Click in the username field and enter your username. Everyone's username begins with SFC, then that's an underscore, then 06, 07, or 08, depending on your grade, then there's an underscore, and you have a specific number. Everyone has a different username. To make the underscore, hold the shift key down, and then press the key to the right of the zero on your keyboard. Then you're going to click in password and enter your password. The password is your SFUSD password, the one on your login card. And then you'll click sign in. And then all you have to do is click here on get started. Enter your birth month, your birth year, enter your gender, and select a country. Then click next step, then click go to class. Here you'll be in your Scratch account. If you're a sixth grader and this is your first time using Scratch, I want you to use the Getting Started with Scratch tutorial. If you're a seventh and eighth grader and you used Scratch last year, I want you to work on the Animate My Name tutorial. How do you get there? You'll click here on Create. And from here, all the way over on the right hand side is a question mark. Click on the question mark to reveal the tutorials. If you're a sixth grader and you've never used Scratch, click here on Getting Started with Scratch. If you've used Scratch before and you're in 7th or 8th grade, you're going to do the Animate a Name tutorial. Click on it and it shows you some step-by-step -step directions. Sometimes there's a video to watch here and then you can click here to start. You're going to follow the directions right here on the right hand side of the screen in order to complete this tutorial. So for example, this first direction says click this icon to choose a new sprite. So I'm going to go over here into my workspace and click this new icon to choose a sprite from the library. And it's said to choose letters. So I'll click on letter and then I'll choose a D and then I'll go down to the bottom right corner and click OK. Since you don't need the scratch cat, you can click here on the scissors then click on the Scratch Cat to delete the cat. Follow the rest of the directions to complete your tutorial. You'll have two days to work on this. At the end of today, you'll simply take a screenshot of some of your code as evidence of your work today. And next week, you'll have to submit the link to your project in its completed form.